focus there we go anyways hey guys what's up welcome to day 17 of ramadan i know there's like a huge gap in between you're like okay sis what happened to all the other days like one oh my god my siblings are actually kind of annoying what do you want can i film in peace uh i just wanted to say um I'm right outside the house. I'm coming in. I know, but Manera, there's a there's a Raptors game today, and I kind of don't want to miss this. Allah, keep it badani I know, but it's like at 7:30. I'm just saying 7:30. Ima Imano, why are we gonna be out at 7:30? Okay, it's I literally know. two. Okay, Mano. it's three o'clock actually. Yo, ma salam, ma salam. All right. Anyways, I'm literally at my mom's house right now because I'm taking the boys out to like the two youngest ones to go eat shopping and stuff like that to buy them clothes and whatnot um, and I'm doing it way in advance because first of all I have so many things to do and I felt like today was the only day that I had like less like work so I'm like you know what let's just do it it was random spur of the moment and they're off from school but I had to work I thought Easter Monday was a holiday but anyways so I'm like you know what let's just do it today so anyways the reason why there's this huge gap is because of like me not filming is because one i didn't really have much to film and i don't want to just be like filming like useless stuff and then keep, like you know boring you guys like it's just what's the point of that and two um i don't know why actually what's the second one i'm not quite sure what the second reason is but i feel like things are now like ramping up i feel like ramalan's <laughs> Ramadan's almost coming to an end and there's a lot of things that I want to do for my YouTube fam and just in general inshallah um, in terms of content and there's a lot of things that like a lot of upgrades happening in my home that I'm excited to show you guys inshallah like I'll have more to post if that makes sense anyway so yeah so that's what I'm doing today yeah don't forget to subscribe uh, join the family let's hit 5k before Ramadan ends so we just pulled up to square one we're in the parking garage and it's snowing in April this is what always happens in a, since the last five years in um, in Toronto. We're still out of it. We're waiting for our other brother, the other one. He's being such a diva. He has like 50 million clothes, trying on like 50 million pants, 50 million shirts. Who knew? Who knew he was a diva? Who knew? Yeah, we are tapped out like completely. Like shopping is exhausting as it is. Oh, I'm so out of it. I'm so out of it too. Y'all like this? It's the whole Jinbab, aka Spudace. Okay. It doesn't fit properly, but. And then we pair it up with little sports shoes. It's always sports shoes. Jinbab, you already know what it is. You already know what it is. Well, I, we're still waiting. It's been at least an hour. Well, I think it's been an hour since we've been in here. I don't think this is coming anytime soon, Walan. You made us wait for how long? An hour and a half. We are finally free. Free from the shackles of huh? this guy. We're free from your shackles. We can now go home. It's literally seven o'clock, and apparently there's a whole blizzard outside. So I guess Mother Nature decided to give us a local snowstorm before spring officially hit. So it's looking like we're having a snowstorm, just like how I predicted. Oh my God! You can actually see the roof is covered with the glass roof is covered with um. Oh my God! You can see how bad it is. Yo, Damn. it's warm outside though. Has it? Was it a success? Uh, possibly. What's up, guys? Oh my god, I have my cat's fur all over my face. Oh, I hate that feeling. But anyways, so today let me just put my phone down. I'm a bit all over the mess, right? I mean, I'm a bit all over the place, not all over the mess. The last two weeks of Ramadan is already like coming to an end. We, I think, officially are in. I think Tahajjud starts tonight, which is the 20th. Today's the 20th of Ramadan, if I'm not mistaken. It's April 20th, so today is... Ramadan started April 2nd, so today's the 19th day of Ramadan. Which is crazy because tomorrow will be the 20th day of Ramadan and we're already entering the last 10 days, subhanAllah. Like, oh my god. I hope we can end the last 10 days with a banger. Okay, since Eid is approaching, I actually got an Eid outfit like way in advance i actually have several options or a few yeah a few options uh so the last order i made actually came yesterday 
Um, so I'm like, you know what? Let me film an Eid Inspo video for you guys. Let's first get into this, okay? This luxurious salamaro as we call it or I call it in Somali. What do you guys actually call it in Somali? Because I, I hear so many different like words for it. I say salamaro. I hear marasalat, which is just the reverse. People say skudais. But skudais, I, I, I usually use it like my term, my definition of skudais is a jilbabs, whatever. This is, if you don't already know, the Chai Nutain Co's prayer gowns. I have the color Asi, I think, and this is a black color. But anyways, this is so beautiful. I bought this last year when she first launched it. it was last year when she first launched it, right? If I'm not mistaken. It's basically a one piece prayer gown but it has like different elements to it so as you can see like the under scarf is in it and then you have this little you know scarf you can put over but the cool thing is it has a magnet so the magnet is attached to this part here the one piece and then the other magnet is on this this is so beautiful it just screams to me super luxe there's like a couple other magnets here right and then you can kind of wear it this way if you would like so like you just kind of mag Put, like put the magnets attached and wear like this you can you know not wear this top piece or you can put the top piece on and if you're anything like me like i like to kind of throw it back you know throw it back so what i'm going to do is i'm going to throw it back and attach the magnets to one another and boom who is she but again, so beautiful. Like you guys should really, really check them out. Like they sell out really, really quickly and with good reason because mashallah, the material is amazing. But anyways, let's get into our little Eid inspo or whatever. I always say I'm, I'm gonna stop shopping from Veil Collections because uh, it kind of hurts. It's a little, a, little, a little expensive, but I will say though, Veiled Collections materials are really, really good. The only reason why I continued buying from them was because I genuinely liked the quality of their material. It costs an arm and a leg, especially for us Canadians. And then shipping on top of that, it like really, it really hurts. I'm not even gonna lie to you. One of the actual packages that I have is a dress that I actually bought when I was heading to Miami that I wanted to wear, but it didn't come in time and it literally came a month later. And I don't know at the time if it was because of the trucking strike or whatever, I don't know what it was. Was, but it just never came in time and clearly I couldn't wait for it obviously I left and then it came literally I think the day I came or the day before I was coming back it came so anyway so that's one of the dresses here so I already had it I bought it back in February but it's like a spring summery sort of like dress or whatever and I actually looked on the website right now and it's actually completely sold out I thought it does make sense to add that into the Eid video because one spring summer hello and two it's Eid like you know and then this one, I got it literally, I got it literally yesterday, so we're going to try that again. I never tried any of these things on, so I'm literally going to be trying them on, on camera for the first time, so we're going to see. And one thing I do wish Veiled Collections would, you know, do better in is like their sizing. When I'm on the website and I'm like looking at compare, even though they have the sizing chart and everything like great, but they still fit fairly small and a bit more snug. I also have two arbayas that I want to also include in this haul. It's Eid Inspo, you know? So this is the first abaya. You guys, it has a little tie here in the middle that you can cinch around the waist, which is so cute. So you can kind of like cinch it around the waist. This is what it looks like. This is my first time opening it and like trying it on. So this is kind of cute. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a hijab like the other abaya. The other abaya comes with a hijab and everything, but like how beautiful is that? I think I'm gonna order like a chocolate brown hijab or some type of hijab to go with it. This is pretty much what it looks like. I'll buy a hand moment. I absolutely love the cinching part. It's so, like, it just adds more like pizzazz to the abaya. The hands are doing what they need to do. I absolutely love it. You can definitely wear it with a black hijab for sure. I feel like, cause there's a little bit like small black detailing in the abaya. This is the first abaya and so far, I believe we are off to a great start. So what y'all think? Oh yeah, by the way, comment down below, like which outfit do you like? like? 
outfit number two but this one's like very similar to the first one just slightly different obviously it's black the hands are you know very similar all for reference by the way my abaya sizes are 58 for those of you that are wondering this one also has the little tie around the waist as well to kind of cinch around the waist area i actually love the idea of cinching things around the waist i just feel like it kind of like i don't know it's more flattering at least for me like i find it to be more flattering the the brown one had details going all the way down this one kind of stops right over here you can never go wrong with a black abaya so this is the detailing of the abaya so the other one had details going all the way down but this one kind of stops like halfway there it also has these like you know little detailing but i don't know there's something about abayas that just make me feel so put together just elevated like it just elevates my whole look it's all about abayas and just the right accessories you guys i don't think you're ready for this one because i wasn't ready for this one and i actually didn't think the dress was gonna fit me the way it did but wow okay let me show y'all so this is the dress it's really like flowy not snug at all it fits like a dream like exactly what i wanted like comfortability like something that flatters you but then also is comfortable and wallahi this dress really achieved that already like you could tell summer vibes spring summer just the design of it the colors the prints it's all like obviously summer appropriate which is why i bought this for when i was going to miami like for a good reason like this dress is actually so cute oh my god i'm actually so happy because i never tried this on. this is the first time i tried this on also i bought this hijab for it at the time because it kind of has these like let me show you let me like kind of zoom in it has these like green sort of prints in there very subtle usually like they have this thing on it um just in case like you know if you want to return it and stuff like that or if you're not satisfied with it you just keep this tag on but i think it's safe to say ladies and gentlemen that um i can snip this out snip this snip this off i can't even speak but wow oh my god this is really giving a very summer very spring very i need to go on a vacation and wear this because that's exactly what i bought it for and i'm actually kind of sad that i never got to wear this right now because this dress is so beautiful it fits so perfectly like this is what the hands look like and for reference um i did size up which i'm so thankful i did because it depends on the style of the dress that you're also getting to some dresses are like more like the fit of it is like supposed to be a bit more tighter if that makes sense this one is more on the looser side like wow mashallah like quality of the dress feels really really good it has an under like an underdress so it's not see-through at all and the underdress comes all the way down i did not expect this i really thought it was gonna be more fitted and i'm so happy i got extra large yeah, I think it was a. Does it say on the. Yeah. Oh no! It's not even extra large that I got. It's 2XL. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, Veiled Collections dresses do fit. That you need to size up for a more modest, more comfortable look in general. Honestly speaking, I, I find that it's not even just about just modesty, it's just like even just the comfortability wise. I don't like to feel restricted. I didn't know I got 2XL. That's crazy, so that's like the largest size that I got. So yeah, for reference, correction, it's not extra large that I got, it's 2XL and it fits like a dream. Let me show you guys this dress one last time because I, I, I was not ready for this. Okay, it's nice and flowy. Let me give you guys a little twirl. Even just the dress is so light and airy, not fitted very comfortable very loose and i feel like summertime like you just want to breathe you don't want to be like you don't want to feel restricted and this is definitely like perfect for summer dress like it's light it's breathable it's beautiful it's given very pretty it's given very vacation too if you need a vacation dress so like this is not only like eat and school this could potentially be like yeah i need to go on a vacation and i'm looking for like modest inspo outfits there you go there you go sis i think this is like their premium chiffon 
Oh, it is. It actually is their premium chiffon because I'm like, this does not feel like a typical chiffon head. This is so beautiful. Of course, I'll put everything down below in the description box, but just for reference, if you're watching this video, you don't want to check the description box. The hijab is in Vienna and the dress is in 2XL and it's their Bailey White Floral Maxi Dress. Okay, let me show you guys this next outfit. I don't know how I feel about it just yet. And the reason why I have you guys zoomed in my face is because I just want, I don't want you to see it just yet. It's kind of giving me very formal wear. I don't know why I, the word suit comes to mind. I looked at myself in the mirror and I'm just like, hmm, I don't know. Maybe if I accessorize it right, it'll, it'll be a fit. But this outfit is kind of interesting because it comes with a third piece that I've never seen before, which I want to show you guys. But let me zoom out real quick. So it is a little monochromatic moment. And I was adamant on having some type of monochromatic moment for this Eid, inshallah. I don't know what's happening with the light. There's a huge cloud that's just going over. I do want to show you guys the actual true color of this, but the light just kind of went away. I thought it would be best to just step out onto my balcony to kind of show you guys what the true color looks like because something about the sun was just playing games. This is like the over habaya. Then it comes with this underdress thing here. But what's interesting is this like third piece here. So it's like this other piece. So you have the under dress thing, then you have the abaya, then you have this like thing, skirt thing, I don't really know what to call it. You just kind of like wrap it around your waist. I guess it kind of just adds another layer to the outfit. So this is kind of what it is. So you have the abaya, then you have the under piece, whatever thing here, then you have the actual dress. I really like this color. I'm not quite sure how it looks on my skin tone. I have never in my life worn a color like this. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm not quite sure how this looks. Oh yeah, and for size, I think I got this, the Abaya, the three-piece set, whatever, in extra large. I was gonna get a brown hijab with it, which I think I'm gonna order right now because I already need a brown hijab for my other Abaya, but a chocolate brown would look perfect with this color. So I'm gonna try that as well and see if it does something. I wish it was a bit longer. I think it's just at my ankle. Anyways, guys, I forgot to close off this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Eid inspo video. It was a little chaotic. Um, I was trying to find the best angles to show you guys, you know, the outfits, but the lighting was just not cooperating. And sometimes working with natural lighting is just, ugh. Uh, I gotta start editing this video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in another video, inshallah. I hope you guys are enjoying your Ramadan. Peace and love. And don't forget to subscribe. And you can watch all the other videos that you may have missed right here.